Yeah, listen, I don't want to work either. Nobody likes to work, but um, what else are you going to do with your life? All right, let's see what he's got here. A mending book! Oh my gosh! Hello and welcome to my... Uh, hello? Where are you anyway? Oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, my bad. Uh, hello and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number... Oh, somebody's here. Hello, come on in, sir. Just, just come on down and make yourself comfortable. I'll be right in. <laughs> Uh, okay, there he goes. Anyway, as I was saying, this is episode number, uh, lucky number 13. And in today's episode, we are going to, uh, make a lectern and a book and quill and some books and a bookshelf and all that fun stuff. And then, um, head to the local village and turn a nitwit into a librarian and do some trading, hopefully, today and get, uh, enchanted books because that's what librarians do. So, pretty cool stuff. Let's see what our neighbor dropped off for us. Oh, rotten flesh. Some bones in there, too. We'll leave that there for now. Uh, anyway, okay, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing we want to do is make a lectern. Um, to make a lectern, we're going to need a bunch of stuff. We're going to need to make some books. So, to make a book in Minecraft, you're going to need leather. And we're going to need some paper. Got plenty of that. We're going to need slabs to make the uh the lecterns we're gonna make two lecterns we're gonna make a lectern for us here for the hidey hole because we can put a book on it and uh we're gonna bring one to the local village like i said and make up a uh we're gonna turn somebody into a librarian we're gonna give a um unemployed nitwit a job so let's first take a look at the lectern oh, i can't make the lectern yet don't have the recipe for it because we need to make a book. And there's a book right there. Three pieces of paper and leather. And you can arrange this any way. It doesn't have to be any specific way. And we're going to make... Uh, we're actually going to make uh, three of these. So let's put in all the stuff. And then one, two, and three books. All right, there we go. Now we got some new recipes. Yay! All right, let's check out the new recipes. We've got the lectern now. And the lectern is uh, four slabs and a bookshelf. Oh, yeah, we've got to make the bookshelf first. Duh. Let's make the bookshelf. So you can find bookshelves and lecterns in villages. Sometimes they spawn there. Um, you cannot collect bookshelves unless you have a silk touch tool. Otherwise, when it breaks, it's going uh, to drop a couple of books. But uh, we can make one simply enough right here. Three books and a bunch of planks. And there we go. Bookshelf. So now we should be able to make our lectern. Lectern. There we go. Easy peasy. One lectern in the books. Uh, well, so to speak. Let's put our lectern somewhere nice. How about right here? That's a nice spot for the lectern. So that's it. Place it down. Um, you can't interact with it unless there's a book on it. So now we need to make a book because um, we can put the book on top of it. And something I like to do in Minecraft is make um, is make a book and quill. So here's a book and quill, this guy right here. And we can keep this as a diary so we can write in it. Now we need a few things. First of all, we need a book, an ink sack. Um, and we have, uh, we have feathers, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, well that feather was given to me by one of the kitty cats as a gift. So we're not going to use that in this recipe. <laughs> Um, otherwise that would make that cat sad. I don't remember who gave it to me, but one of these little cats did. Uh, let's go get an ink sack, which we get from a squiddy. There's a bunch of squiddies right here. Sorry, pal, this is gonna hurt me more than you. Not really, but thanks. Ooh, nice catch. There we go. We got an ink sack. We got some new recipes. We can make black dye with ink sacks. And obviously we can make, uh, books and quill. Get up here, you! Come on up here. Play nice now. There we go. All right. Two ink sacks. Just in case we want to make something else as well. Now back into the hidey hole. And let's whip this book and quill up. Just like the book we made earlier, this particular recipe is not shaped. So as long as you put your ingredients in the crafting table, it doesn't matter how you arrange them. And they call that shapeless. As opposed to shaped. So there we go. Book and quill. And now if we put the book and quill in our hands, we right click. 
we have a blank page page one of one and we can just start typing in here and we're going to call this whoops that's not the right thing survive and thrive 2019 can it all fit on one line yeah there you go uh and you can skip lines and you can go back space and i think now you can even move around multiple lines so let's see yeah back in the old days you couldn't do that you'd have to backspace all the way back like if i misspell this let's say i misspelled it and i didn't realize it until here back in the old days if you were on page 25 and you wanted to change that <laughs> you have to backspace all the way to get to it just to fix that can you imagine yeah, see, you kids got it easy these days. Now you can just uh, click in the book anywhere you want and get right to your mistakes and make your changes. So anyway, we're going to call this Survive and Thrive 2019 because I like to keep a chronological log of uh, all the cool stuff that we do here in the Let's Play. So we're going to call this Survive and Thrive 2019, which began on, I think it was July, I'm going to say the 8th if memory serves but uh, i'll have to double check that but there we go and then you can put like you know when you found i, I usually do this like uh the day i found my first pet and this is just for demonstration purposes i i have to go back and verify the day and episode number but typically that's what i do i put the date episode number and then the event like what did what happened on that day tamed two cats named mud and Brittany, right is that right yeah so there you go something like that now if you sign it you basically close that book up for good and you can't make any more edits to it so we're not going to do that we just want to hit done for now and we can make changes to it anytime by right clicking and we can put it on our uh, lectern and it even shows up in the world like that pretty cool stuff and then if you want to see it we just right click on it and we can pick it up or leave it and we can still oh we can't type in it while it's there okay interesting i thought we could but we can't so you have to pick it up and then edit it while it's in your hand and then uh put it back down pretty cool i love it looks nice there too all right so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and make another lectern and then we're gonna uh we're gonna bring that to the nearby village we're gonna do some trading i have 13 emeralds here i have done a little bit of trading um off camera but we're gonna need more than that in case we do make a uh a librarian we're gonna want to trade um for a an enchanted book and enchanted books could be expensive i think at least 15 emeralds maybe 20 ish or so so we're gonna bring some wheat to trade with the farmers what's going on out there stop it all what's with the racket all that jumping around it's too early for that it's really early saturday morning i just brought my son to the airport <laughs> Uh, he's going to the Grand Canyon to hike down in the Grand Canyon with his big bro. Um, so I'm trying to get this thing done and uploaded today if I can. Uh, so, all right, yeah, let me just uh, make up another lectern and then we shall be on our way. All right, it's morning and we are packed up and ready to go. In fact, let me show you all the, uh, the loot we have here that we're going to be doing trading with. So I had a bunch of uh, carrots and taters and some wheat and stuff on uh, on Kong here in his saddlebags ready for this trade. So, yeah, let's go. We've got all day ahead of us. We want to get to this town, do the trading, make some emeralds, and then uh, hopefully we can turn one of the nitwits into a librarian. So I will see you guys over at the town. Whoa, creeper. <laughs> bub? Little Bub? The Boy Scout zombie? You down there? Oh, I think I hear him. Bub. Bub, keep talking. I know you're down there somewhere. Bob? You guys hear Bob? Oh, look at this. There's a cave here. Oh, it is Bob. Hey, Bob. Dude, over here. Up here. Look, hi. Oh, hi, sir. What you doing up there? Oh, I'm just going to go to town and give somebody a job. We need a librarian in the next in the town here. Oh, cool. Can I have a job? Uh, no, you're too young for a job. I mean, how old are you anyway? Uh, I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm like seven. Oh, no. You're way too young. You're, you're too young. That would be child labor. Sorry, Bob. I got to go. Oh, no. Wait, don't leave me down here. Sorry, kid. We got to run. Bye. Bye. All right, we got a farmer here. Let's do some trading. Get over here, you. Mr. Farmer, how we doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, look at all of that wheat. You want lots and lots of wheat, don't you? Well, we can accommodate you there, sir. 
and he's still taking it. He's still taking the wheats. Look at that. 20 emeralds. Oh, you want some pumpkins too? Sure. Okay, we can arrange that. <laughs> 22 emeralds so far. You don't want any carrots or taters, huh? All right, well, oh, her. Yeah, same to you. Um, all right, you know what? I think we have enough emeralds to make a first trade anyway. I think the uh, enchanted... Oh, someone's brewing in here. Hey, what you, Hey, buddy, what you making in there? I hope it's legal. I don't know. Let me go check. Oh, he's making a run for it. He's making a run for it. Get back in there. What are you making? What are you making in this brewing stand? Oh, okay. He's, he's doing it right in front of us, so I guess it's legal. Uh, all right. Well, he has a job. He's a cleric. We need... Um, we're going to need some nitwit. Aha! I think we got a couple of nitwits over here just kind of milling around out in the field doing nothing. Oh, really? Well, tell you what, pal. Uh, let's make you into a librarian. But let's put it over... Let's put it inside of a house. How about uh, this house right here? And let's see if we get a librarian. Hopefully, one of these guys will be converted to a librarian. Come on over here, pal. Come on. Get a little closer. Let's see if we can get him closer to that lectern. And hopefully we get a good enchanted book. What we're really interested in, what I like anyway, would be a mending book or a um, silk touch right off the bat. That would be fantastic. Look, pal, over here. Come here, I got a lectern. Oh, he did it. He did it. He changed. Yay. <laughs> yeah, listen, I don't want to work either. Nobody likes to work, but um, what else are you going to do with your life? All right, let's see what he's got here. A mending book. Oh, my gosh. Perfect, dude. Perfect. And he sells bookshelves, which I don't care about. Oh, you know what? We need a book. Shucks, I forgot. You actually have to give them a book now. And then they enchant it into the uh, into the mending book. Okay, well, that should be easy peasy. But we still need six more emeralds. Wow, that's expensive. But worth it. Mending is awesome. You put mending on a, uh, on a tool or a weapon or armor, and it actually mends itself. It repairs on its own when you gain experience. So that's why I loves it so much. Okay, don't go anywhere, Mr. Uh, Mr. Librarian. We're going to have to make a book, which we can do with... Oh, I missed. Stand still. With some leather and some sugar cane, which we can turn into paper. And Oh, gosh, the sun's going down. We don't want that guy to get it. So what I'd like to do with this librarian, if we can snatch him up, well, when he goes inside, when he goes indoors, we'll lock him inside his house so he doesn't uh, get killed by zombies. <laughs> Home confinement for that librarian. We want him to sit right there at his lectern all day long and just read and study and make new awesome books for us. And I don't even see any sugarcane anywhere. And I don't have any paper on me. Oh, hi, Frank. Uh, no, I, I'm not peeping in the librarian's home. I just want to make sure he's in there safe and sound in bed, and he is. Thanks for checking up on him and doing your your your, your duty, officer. <laughs> so yeah, he's home. Just wanted to make sure. And now we're going to uh, we're going to block his door, and we want to put a whole bunch of blocks here. Like I said, you gotta get out of the way. Yeah, that way the zombies can't reach around. Sometimes they can squeeze their hand in little cracks and crevices and get around. Uh, those single blocks so you want to cover it up nice and solid like that now obviously we're gonna have to take those blocks down to do some trading with them but uh, I still haven't found any sugar cane and all the bad things are coming out now uh, hey Lagatha can you come get this guy where is she I'm gonna try to get to sleep over here oh my gosh Whoa. holy smokes all right you get him get Lagatha get that guy Nice shot, buddy. Nice shooting. Okay. Oh, Lagoth is chasing this guy over here. Is there a bed here? No, no bed here. All right, guys, I'm back. And oh, sorry about that. Let me get off your composer here. Um, and I got the book. So I went all the way back to the hidey hole, made up a book, and now I'm trading for the final few. Oh, gosh. Hey, can you, um, <clears throat> excuse me? Mr. Farmer, can you help me out of here? <laughs> Pull. Ah, oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get the final few emeralds here and i found this farmer this farmer sells uh well he buys taters and i just stole a bunch of their wheat and i think we're gonna do this i think we're gonna do this i think we are gonna do this oh not enough huh um there's actually a trader in town waldo is here i need literally one more 
emerald because he has something I want. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... Whoops, that was not quite right, was it? <laughs> uh, 19, I need one more. Will you give me a break? Give me a good deal? Uh, no, huh? Well, he'll sell us a pie. Okay, I got to get one more. Wait! Ow! Saw that coming. Oh, here's a guy over here, too. Yeah, there's so many farmers here. All right, yeah. Um, Waldo is here, and he's selling some packed ice. Waldo the trader. I would love to get... Oh, you don't even want wheat. I would love to get some packed ice. So, here we go. All right, so 31. Okay, that's everything we need. We need 28 for the book, the mending book, and then the packed ice was three. That's if Waldo is still here. I don't know. He was over here wandering around with his llamas. Um, Waldo? I don't see him anymore. Maybe he left. Oh, well. All right, let's get over to the librarian and make our trade for our mending book, and then we can just uh, head back and do what needs to be done. But the librarian is stuck in his house, so we're going to have to go get him out. Oh, wait a second. Hey, how did you get out? Holy smokes, he's like Houdini. That's you, right? It is you. It is him. How the heck did he escape? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here's your book. Hold on a sec. And your emeralds, okay? And we get a book of mending. What a deal. Thanks. I cannot believe we got this guy on the first try. That is awesome. Mending book. Hey, listen, it was a pleasure doing business with you. I'm glad you have a job. Um, uh, enjoy. And now we're going to go find the uh, the trader, if he's still around. Hmm, I don't see Waldo around. I think he left. Oh, well. Yeah, that's too bad. I guess we're not going to get our pack dice. But we do have the Book of Mending, so let's head home. And uh, we'll get that thing on the axe right away. All right, guys, we're back at the hidey hole. So let's do some magic. What do you say? Let's do some enchanting with our new enchanted book. And we do that right here on our anvil believe it or not makes it nice and simple we put our axe here in the first slot the enchanted book in the second slot and it's only going to cost two experience that is a bargain however since we're here we're going to go ahead and rename this that's going to add one to the total cost but definitely worth it we're going to call this uh what should we call our new diamond axe our mending axe let's call it drax You'll uh, get it. Axe, Dracula, because it uh, it mends itself. It drains life force from its enemies, and it puts it in itself. I think that's pretty darn creative. Dracula, woohoo! Okay, let's go try it out. Let's put the shield in the hand, and now when we kill our enemies, slay our enemies with our Dracula, it will uh it'll mend itself so right now you can see that there's a little bit of damage down there right not too much but um as we slay our enemies it will it'll heal itself we're just gonna go find some monsters to kill oh hi oh buddy you're so lucky you missed because i would have killed you if you hit me uh guess what i'm gonna kill you anyway so there we go we pick up the balls and we get a little experience and the axe is mending itself Awesome, 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 awesome. I love mending. Like I said, that is one of the first books I like to either uh, enchant myself or find. Um, you can actually make enchanted books. We'll get to that eventually. But that's down the road. we got to make an enchanting table. Enchantment table. It's going to be a little while before we get there, but that is so lovely. It's being mended as we speak. Can't really tell, but it is. Trust me. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, whoa, man, you guys are off off today, aren't you? Oh, let me do the killing, okay, pal? You kill yourself, you weirdo. All right, there we go. Yeah, eventually, if we get enough experience, that will um, mend itself all the way back up to pretty much full health. Let's see if we can get another experience here. Whoa, oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Killing grass and not getting my experience. Hold on. One more volunteer here. Thank you for volunteer. Oh, here comes a couple of guys. Awesome. Oh, critical hit. That's what we should be doing with Drax. Get Draxed. Look at that, Drax. Look at that. Criticals, criticals, criticals everywhere. All right, hold on. We have our final volunteer of the night. Oh, I <laughs> just... Not the tree. <laughs> I just stripped the bark. Hi, buddy. Right here in front of you. Stand still, would you? 
Let's see if we can get some experience here and get a full fixed up axe. Nope, not quite. Okay, we got another volunteer here all the way from the desert. All the way from the desert he came to help us out. Oh, dang it, still not 100%. I'm not sure if we can get the axe back to 100% to be honest. Maybe that's impossible. Oh, wait a minute. I missed some experience right here. I see somebody's balls. Let's go grab them. Grab those balls. Missed. Technically, he hit. <laughs> oh, dang, grass. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help our experimentation here. Oh, here we go. Got a whole line of dudes. All right, let's kill them fast. Get him, Drex. It's fixed. 100. Oh, dang it. There it is. I told you. I knew we could do it. <laughs> so the axe is now back to brand spanking new. Look at that, guys. It's like uh, like I just went to the store and bought it. 100% brand new. Look at that thing. What a beast. I love my Dracula. And that, my friends, is why you want to make a librarian and hopefully get a mending book. Because technically, your diamond weapon or whatever you put mending on could potentially uh, last forever. So pretty cool stuff right there. All right. And that, my friends, is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.